What's going on everybody? It's Rock from Flip the Thrift. We're going to go out today and do a little bit of shopping. Um, maybe light, maybe heavy. Who knows? Let's go. And if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash that thumbs up button, hit the notification bell to get notified when I post another video. So um, today we're just going to go, it's 9 o'clock, it's already late. Um, there's two stores that I like to go to. I'm um, probably going to go to this Goodwill, and then there's another store that's called Care and Share that's like probably like 20 minutes away from there. So probably only those two stores today. Like I said, I think I'm, I'm going to try to keep it light today because I do have like 17 items to ship, and um, I just sold a pair of shoes on Poshmark that I just listed this morning. So, guys, it is imperative that you guys are... Um, making sure that you are cross-listing. I'm not saying that you have to, I'm just saying that it does help give your item more exposure. The more platforms you list your item on, the more exposed um, it's gonna be, the more it's gonna have a chance to sell. Just don't overwhelm yourself and cross-list on dozens of platforms because remember, when the item sells on one platform, you have to unlist it off of the other platforms. Unless you're using, I think with list perfectly, I think if you, make the listing on list perfectly correct me if i'm wrong you can unlist it off of other platforms like i think it will automatically end that listing once it sells on one platform it will end it on the others i think that list perfectly will do that for you it's just i don't create my listings from list perfectly like you can do that with the other app there's another app i can't remember what it's called Vendu or something or what or maybe that's the one for the um the measurements i can't remember but anyway beside the point let's go all right guys so we're here the goodwill's over there so let's go over there all right so this is made by Rand gottman there's ones that are sold but they're like fedoras not fedoras but i'm trying to think of the word but this is a gore-tex it's only two bucks i think i'm just going to pick this up then we have this old Eagles Kelly Green. It's on an AJD tag. It's a little dirty on the inside, but it's still got that Kelly Green color. Then I'm gonna look this one up. That's Patagonia. I don't know what that is. Then we have this one. It's pretty cool. This is why it pays to dig for stuff. I think this is a sports specialty. But I don't think it's old though. I don't think this is an older one. It's got the strap back. And then here we go. We got the polo with the dog. I don't know what this one is worth, but it's a polo sport. So, yeah, cool. These are gonna be five. These are made in USA, UNLV. Um, probably get about 25 for them. Maybe 529. <clears throat> All right, I think I'm gonna pick this Cabela's hat up. All the hats are like $3. This one's pretty cool. And then I see some of these Fast and Furious hats. They're actually doing really well. They're not a lot of them selling, but I'm going to take a chance with this one because I think that this one might be a little rare. I don't know which movie that is. I know there's a lot of them. All right, so I'm definitely going to pick this up. Chaps is not really a great brand to pick up. Sometimes the Chaps Ralph Lauren with the collaboration, but this is only going to be $5.75, and it's a 3XB. So this is a big and tall size, and it's got a really cool, like, Nordic fair eye. I don't know if that's a bear or a wolf, but this is dope. I'm going to pick this up. I forgot the last time. You guys like my sweater? This is all thrift, except for the hat. This is my daughter's, um, the gift card that she gave me for lids. My car is dirty. needs cleaned. But, um, we really, really hit it big in here last time. We got a bunch of electronic stuff. It's all listed and ready to go. All right, guys, so this is a Dickies made in USA. I don't know if the, the vintage ones are USA, but it is kind of thin. 
It's going to be $4.50. I'm going to go ahead and grab this because I do think that this is vintage. I'm going to go ahead and pick up this Yeti Coolers. Um, it looks like it's pretty good condition, in pretty good condition. Yeti does sell really well, like their clothing. This is a cool Penn State sweater. This is on an old Hanes tag. It's made in USA. Um, it's got the fleece on the inside. It's going to be $4. I think I'm going to pick this up. Alright, these are from Kmart, so I don't know how much these originally are. I mean, they're really cool. I don't think they sell swishies like this. Um, not really. These ones are lined, too. These are going to be six doll hairs. I think I'm going to grab these. Alright, so there's a couple new. This one is... This one's going to be $6. It says Wiggle Racing, but this one is like Sprint Car. This is local, Newport. But then we have this one. This one's really big, too. This is a 4XL, brand new. Um, Brad Kozlowski. I've never heard of him. Team Penske. Uh, I don't know if there's a date on it. I have to check the date on this, but I think I'm going to pick this one up. Here is a dilemma, guys. They have a lot of rag bags. I don't know. It's really complicated to figure out what to do here. I might just buy all of them. I don't know. I think I'm going to buy all of them. All right, I absolutely have to pick up this. It's not made in USA, but it's definitely older. It's a Wrangler. It's got that cool, like, cowboy look to it. I'm going to pick this up. It's in really good shape. I don't see any stains. All right, guys, so I just couldn't resist. There was a total of 30 bags. It's all in two carts. I'm going to get it all in the car, and we're going to go through it later. I'm going to go through it at a bin. So that way I can just get rid of the stuff that I don't want. All right, so here is the other cart. We're going to skip the other um, store. There's not going to be enough time for me to do all that today. So, you know, it is what it is. I may, have, may or may not have missed out on something, but it's all good, which you don't know won't hurt you so we're gonna get this in the car and we're gonna go anyway guys thank you guys so much for following me on this journey with all this stuff um i have all these bags what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna stop um, i'm not gonna do all that fast forward stuff because i'm using my phone i don't want to set the mic up and do all i don't want to deal with all that i don't have enough time to do that today so we're just gonna use my phone i think the lighting is good let's turn this other light on so that way we i know i got efficient lighting as long as it's working. Yeah, that's a little bit, a little bit more light. Yeah, that's good. It's all great, baby. Um, I had to take that sweater off and all my jewelry. It's just too much in this house. It is hot in here. I don't have a fan in this room. So I probably might want to look into getting a fan. I think the, the heat's up really high. So we have 30 grab bags. We're going to go through them. I'm going to throw everything over there that's garbage. Um, the good stuff's going to go over here. It's going to get listed and um, yeah, let's start. Um, All right, guys. So, in going through the pile, there's like the one bag that I opened. All the shirts are folded. All right. And I did see this one right here. So, we have a champion. That's an older champion tag. I didn't look to see if it's made in USA. I don't think it is. It's This is made in Mexico. That's a little bit older. It's not a super old tag, but um, it might not even be old at all. I'm not really sure. But a lot of times when I see the red, the red, white, and blue like tag like that, it usually indicates that it's an older piece. Then we have this one. This shirt is brand new. It just has the Canada, has the flag. You can probably get like maybe maybe 20 bucks for that, being that it's new. And then these are the type of shirts that you see women wear at the beach. Um, usually older women, it's like kind of like a gag type of shirt where it has the girl in the in the bikini. Um, and it's like, at first I thought it was ripped. It does have a stain on it. Um, the person that, the, probably the person that buys this is probably not going to care. I did look the tag up. I think that that's just like a bootleg, maybe like a bootleg tag, and it's just going to be hard to find. So um, if I can figure out what it's actually called. And then this is really cool. It's got like, it's got like ducks just like hanging out. I think it says quack something. It says quack grass. Um, it says Petal Pets 1986. So this is really old. Um, and I'm guessing that it's probably made in USA. It should be single stitch if it's that old. It's actually not. 
That's usually a good indication if it's older and it doesn't have single stitch. That means that it was a quality, it, this was a quality shirt. Um, I don't think that everything is single stitch um, before the 80s. Then we have this one. This one is this one is Caribbean Aruba Paradise. Now this is just a big shirt. There's no stains on it. Um, it does say like 3X or something like that, which is probably right. It's probably like a 2 or 3X, so not too bad. Then we found this racing. I'm just going to do this periodically as I'm finding things, so that way the video is not super long. Then I'm finding a lot of things. This might turn into another video. Then we have this Worf. It's Nomex Aramid Fiber. So this is racing. I live out here near Port Royal, um, near a lot of racing areas. Um, where So naturally, you're, we're gonna, I find a lot of racing shirts, especially in this area. There's tons of racing shirts. I did pass on that big one today. So I'm going to keep going. All right, so I thought that this was really funny. It says a hunter's nightmare, and then it has like a camo deer. I thought that was really cool. But um, so far, what was left? In that bag, we got got a bunch of stuff. We got another one. We got this one just says Ford trucks. Um, I do pretty good with shirts like this. They don't sell for a lot of money, but they do sell. Then we have these. I'm probably gonna put these together. These are were folded up really nice. There's no stains, no holes on these. I just feel like they just didn't want to do these, so they just they just threw them in rag bags so they wouldn't have to do them all individually. This is an old navy 2004. There's a red one, and then there is a then there's a black one. So there's two of them. So what? And they're the same size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these two together, and I should probably get about twenty dollars for both t-shirts, between twenty and twenty-five bucks. So not too bad. Then we have this Irwin Tools. This one is a national a national tradesman, um, 2012. This is the only Irwin Tools t-shirt that is selling. Um, one sold for nine ninety-nine plus shipping. Um, one took an offer plus shipping, so I'm guessing that I'll probably just list this for like $19.99 and just take an offer on it. If somebody offers me $12 or $15, I'll just take it just to move it. All right, guys, so we're going to go through the rest of... There's still more. I still have more bags also, so there's some to go through. But I wanted to show you this hat real quick, this polo hat that I picked up today. Um, this is actually a polo sport, Ralph Lauren. If you guys ever see this hat, make sure you pick it up. Um, this hat is worth about $150. Um, don't ask me why. It has a golden retriever on it, I guess. A gold lab Labrador retriever. Golden Labrador retriever. I, I don't know. But um, anyway, yeah, they had this actually posted up a little bit. I actually paid 5 bucks for it, but I'm more than happy. I probably would have paid 25 for this hat if I knew what the value was. But um, yeah, so really good find. Check that out, guys. Polo. All right, so we got the real, got a real good. Um, plus, we have the Fast and Furious hat. I'm not really too sure about that one. I gotta look, look it up a little bit more. All right, so which ones didn't we go through? All right, so this one is just a vintage tee, a jersey made in USA, just a regular crew. I'm trying to see. Then we have the Back Bay Adventures Calico Jack. Some of these like tourist t-shirts and things like bar shirts can definitely be worth some good money. Found this Stranger Things. Stranger Things. It's not going to really fit any of my kids. I'm really, it will fit me, but it's like kind of like that, that material that I don't really care for. But um, yeah, so let's see. So, so far we got a decent, decent um, pile, about 20 shirts already. I mean, pretty close to that. Um, not, not really a bad number. Then we have this Mr. Ducks right here. Then we have, this is on a Nike tag. It's got a cool Nike check in the back. Not really sure if this is local or not. Um, Red Rose Arena established 1993. I'm, I don't think that that's how old this shirt is. It is an old tag. It says made in Mexico. It doesn't mean that it's not from the 90s. It could be. Um, I'll do a little bit more research on that. Like I said, I don't really know. And these are Legacy of Clean, Better, natu nat Naturally. These are just like washcloths. These look like they would be good to like clean shoes and stuff. So I think I'm going to hold on to them to um, clean sneakers with. 
right, I'm trying to go as fast as I can. I'm going to give this to the wife. Prayer. The world's greatest wireless connection. That's for my old lady. For the wifey. Then we got, we got this redneck sportsman. It says, shoot, shoot or get off the pot. Really cool. It's like a, I guess it's a redneck. It is um, a hunter hanging out the window or sitting on the toilet, shooting a deer out the window. Yeah, I really screwed that up, didn't I? Wow. Okay. All right. And then what do we have here? We have this really cool Mr. Ducks 2006 t-shirt. It's got the pocket and the ducks on the back. Um, these do pretty good, these Mr. Ducks t-shirts. Um, I don't know what Mr. Ducks is. I don't know if it's a store. I'm not really sure what that is, but... Um, that shirt's in like brand new condition. These were folded, so like I said, I just don't think that um, the people wanted to do, um, they just didn't want to um, uh, pro um, process all of this um, clothing. I think it was just maybe overwhelming, and I think when they get overwhelmed, they stuff them in bags, and that's where I come in at. That's where I come in, and I swoop down, and I grab the bags, and I bring them home. So far we have, we're working on our fourth trash bag filled with ones that are going to go back to donation. So it's a win-win situation. I donate it back. Um, Grandpa, an American classic. That's pretty cool. Um, this is actually something that I could wear. It looks a little small, maybe more like a medium, maybe a medium. And this shirt is basically brand new. You can see where the red has bleed bled bleed bleed bled into the tag um it just is a big moose it says canada there was a lot of canada t-shirts um there was a couple so far so far i think we're doing really good um for 30 dollars, i think we're doing fantastic um one of these bar harbor um main embroidered t-shirts actually sold for 15 dollars plus shipping so this is a 20 dollars shirt right here and remember we spent 30 so then um, this is actually in really good condition. It's just a rag, just a rag, whatever you know, a, um, a hand towel, a kitchen hand towel. And then we have this Coors Light 2004. I think it's 2004. So yeah, this is 2004. So it's almost vintage. A couple more years, it'll be vintage. It'll be 20 years old. So, but um, let's keep going. All right, guys, trying to get this camera right. All right, so we got a couple more items. I'm going to go through them real quick. They do smell like smoke. I'm going to have to wash them. They were all together. This one, this one doesn't. So we got a Red Bull. Um, you want a Red Bull? I got a Red Bull. You want a Red Bull? I never had a Red Bull. Let's have a Red Bull together. All right, Jim Carrey. Um, what was that? Yes, man. Yes, man. And then we have this Bike Week 2017. Just a really cool shirt. It's got like the flames going down the side on the sleeves with the dice. It's just really, really dope. Um, it's definitely going to need to be washed. This one. Well, I think it was just maybe one shirt that kind of smelled like smoke. Um, I guess I'll probably just wash all of this. I usually don't wash my clothing if it's not dirty. I just don't wash it. I just don't see the reason to waste water and soap. And if an item is not dirty, it's not dirty. I mean, you know when something's dirty, you can smell so we have um, Rally King 2013. Just look at the graphic on the back of this. 2013 Rally on Rally on the River, Pennsylvania. Look at the skull on the bike. Like it's just that's really off the chain. This is definitely something um, that somebody's gonna want. It's not vintage, but it does have a really cool um, graphic. So this one does smell a little bit like smoke. One of them is worse than the other. Then we have this Sons of Anarchy. I already looked this one up. It says No Rules, No Masters. Um, I watched Sons of Anarchy. It was a really good show. Um, I think there actually, I think there actually is a real um, Sons of Anarchy. Are they an actual? It says, what does it say? Road Gear Prospect. It's just really cool. So I don't know if there's an actual Sons of Anarchy. I'm, I'm not really sure, but pretty cool so far. All right, man. I'm just totally exhausted. We're going to go through what is left. Say hi, Smoke. Smokey. What's up, Smokey Bear? What's up? He just can't wait for me to chill somewhere so he can just chill with me. He's a chill cat. The other cat, she's a fruitcake. So I don't know what her deal is, but, um, uh, 
All animals are, you know, they're all different. Sometimes you catch a bad one. All right, so we're going to go through. Here is the pile of good stuff right here that nobody went through. That is not included. That is my goat, bro. This is what was good, which isn't really too bad for... For 30 bags, I think we got a decent amount. So there's that there. We'll get that listed. Um, if, if there's no visible stains, what I'll probably do is I'll probably take the pictures first and then wash it. Or, I mean, I have stuff behind me too that I can list that I can just probably just wait. All right, so this is Keith Kaufman. He's a rider from, um, he's actually sponsored by Middlesworth Chips. Middlesworth, um, I, I think these are in Pennsylvania. Middlesworth is probably... Um, it's probably the town. I don't think that this is vintage. It does not matter the, the condition of these t-shirts. They can be totally thrashed, stained, ripped, bleh, spit on. No, I'm kidding. Um, but they sell. So um, For some reason, um, this is a sought-after driver. I don't know if he's still alive. I don't know any I don't know any of the information about this driver. I didn't look him up, but this is a sprint car um, driver. And um, it, this, they usually sell pretty good. It's pretty cool. In the back it says, on the gas and going fast. So, should do all right with that. And then there was another one. They, they sell like, they sell like in increments, you know, like not increments, but like periodically as, you know, I list them and then they sell, then another one will sell and another one will sell. It could be six months later and then another one will sell. It's just, but they're selling, so... Um, I could see if they were list if I had a bunch of them and they were listed for you know like a a couple years or a year and none of them were selling, but they're definitely selling. So here is another one. There's another Keith Kaufman. Um, this one's pretty cool. They're just the graphics on these are just really dope. They're double sided. Um, they do have stains on them. There's some stains on the bottom, but it's all good in the hood. They're gonna sell anyway, regardless. And I found this really cool. Um, this is a Jeff Gordon. Made in USA. It's on a competitor's view tag. It's on a really old tag. Made in USA. Um, it is double sided. It's just your cool little, you know, little, your little redneck tank top. So, chilling like a villain. Um, we'll go ahead and get that listed. Then we have this group. Um, it's called Blackberry Smoke. It is Find a Light. It's the Find a Light Tour. Um, it's 2018. It's not old. Um, I see the record selling like a lot. Like if you look this record up, this album, you see that this album's sold a dozen, you know, like probably like a half a dozen times, um, if not more. Um, this particular t-shirt isn't selling. I think there was one t-shirt that sold. I'll list it cheap and just, you know, just kind of blow it out like I always do. I just list items really cheap and just blow them out <clears throat> just to get rid of them. So, but um, remember, we only have $30 invested in all of these bags, so... Two t-shirts were guaranteed to get our money back. Then we have Dark Side of the Moon. I literally donated, well, it's not Dark Side of the Moon, Shark Side of the Moon, which is um, Kaui, Hawaii. Is that how you pronounce that? Kauai. I don't even know how to pronounce that. I'm butchering. I'm really sorry. Um, all of the people from Hawaii. I, I can't pronounce that. Sorry. There's nothing on the back of it. It's just a cool t-shirt. I just thought it was a really cool design because it's it's got two things going on when it has music and it has, you know, your tourist, um, you know, whatever. So then we have this winner's circle. I think this is made in USA. It is, well, it's assembled in Honduras of U.S. components. It's just your Dale Jr., you know, Dale Earnhardt Jr. t-shirt. But it's pink, so it's obviously a woman's shirt. Could be a men's, um, but it's a large... Probably be a men's large too, so whatever. Oversized, I don't know. We'll see. And then I was going to give this, is this the one? No, this one's a large, this one. I have enough Penn State t-shirts because my daughter's in Penn State. I get them all the time. I get. I got sweaters, t-shirts. Um, this one is a Penn State Gymnastics. I thought that maybe this is a little, you know, a little different. Maybe someone will jump on this. I don't know. Get it? Jump on this. Ha ha. Ha ha. All right, the ostrich from Family Guy. Ha ha! All right, then we have the Snap On Racing. It's not really vintage, but it does have that vintage look to it. Not too bad. That one has like a funky smell, like like an air smell, like an outdoor smell, not like a smelly smell, but you know, whatever. Then this one says half a bubble off. This is just like somebody that's like a contractor builder, um, you know, like um, what's it called? 
when you work on houses and stuff, just like construction or whatever you want to call it. Then we have the ones that you guys already seen. You already seen the Sons of Anarchy. Super cool t-shirts. I think we did fine for um, what we spent. This one is my absolute favorite and it is the absolute stinkiest that I have to clean because I hate the smell of smoke. This one, oh man, this is the one. This guy smoked a pack of cigarettes a day, probably. Um, just look at that skull, man. We gotta look at that again. That's just really, really cool. This is definitely gonna sell. We gotta wash it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it wasn't too long. I'm gonna try to piece it together, edit it out the best I can. And um, yeah, with that being said, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Smash that thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell to get notified when I post another video. And that's it. That's all I got. Peace out.